Now, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I'm about to tell you some weird stuff that just went down. And I'm just going to be 100% honest. I would not be surprised if all of this is a made-up story. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so... Yeah. So recently, for everybody that don't know, Blueface, for whatever the reason, he's really popular. I mean, man, I don't know. I mean, it's not music for me, but at the same time, a lot of this music ain't for me. It don't mean it's not for you. So there's a promoter somewhere, and he allegedly, allegedly, was trying to book Blueface. Actually, that's not even an alleged comment. He actually was trying to book Blueface. For everybody that don't know, WAC 100 is, I believe, Blueface's manager. I really don't know how this dude WAC stays in the... uh in in the mix like that but he does and he's Blueface's manager and Blueface is the next big thing i guess i don't know so uh whack 100 is his manager and Blueface had booked the tour so first not a tour show so first the a promoter came out and tried to throw shade at Blueface, saying that Blueface basically got the first half of the money and now he's trying to back out right he went on a long rant on um uh, shout out to uh, Hip Hop's Classics anyway. That's where, I, that's where I heard this information from. So he goes on a long rant on uh, IG about how he got paid. Now he don't want to show up. And the reason is, is because there's some rowdy, rusty, rusty rowdy. I don't know what the guy's name is. Anyways, there's some dude named Rowdy. And he's also a hip hop artist out there. And he's going to be the headliner. So, uh, his, he's busy trying to say to promoter that the reason why Blue, Blueface does not want to do the show now is because Blueface is not the headline. He's not the guy, you know, the main event. So that's why he doesn't want to do the show. He's only going to do the show if he's the main event. Before we go any further, I do want to explain something. If you are a premier artist and you're going and you're doing shows and you are not the main event in the other guy or there's another act, who's being heralded above you and you're going and you're doing shows like this, you can actually devalue yourself. I just want, cause I, cause I don't think this was, um, addressed. You can actually devalue yourself. You can bring the value of your own value down by going and doing shows, you know, uh, while other people are being booked to headline the show. I'm going to give you a perfect example of a way to do this and it not hurt you. Do anybody remember when 6 9 had went and he just showed up at the powerhouse? Like nobody knew he was going to be at the powerhouse? That's one way to go, you know, they, they want to book you, but you're not going to be the headliner. Somebody else is going to be the headliner. You're like, yo, I don't want to do it unless I close the show. So they, so one way to do this is, you know, your guest appearance and you get you, somebody sneaks you on on one of the other shows. If you notice... I don't know if that was the opening act. I was told that there was acts that came on before the act that uh, 6 9 actually jumped in on. But by him doing it that way, it wasn't promoted as, you know, these are the artists that's going to be here. 6 9 is not the premier artist. So he was able to come out, do the show, whatever, whatever, and not devalue himself. Now, if you're booking a show and you're, you know, you send out all of the, uh, 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 the publicity for the show, the promotion for the show, and now you have everybody on the card, and you have Blueface, and then you have somebody who doesn't necessarily have the same notoriety as Blueface closing the show, or they're the headline on the show, they're the top billing on the show, that's going to devalue Blueface. It's going to make it seem like the other guy has more value than him. So in reality, it would be in Blueface's benefit 
to not do the show. If that's what the guy's argument is. I mean, that's the argument the guy was making. I don't know. But if that's what the argument that the guy is making is, then quite honestly, Blueface should not do the show. And then he tried to say, well, you know, you make music for kids and we're grown adults. Then why are you trying to book them? That don't even make sense. If the argument is Blueface makes music, that Tatiana song, it's, that's his hit. And if that's music for young girls, then why are you trying to book him if the crowd that's going to be there isn't into that type of music? Like, I don't understand what this promoter guy is talking about. Anyway, so the promoter comes out with this and Whack 100. See, this is the thing. WAC 100 is not going to let you talk crazy about him or his people. WAC 100 immediately drops receipts first, showing that he sent the money back to the guy. He sent the money back. That was the first receipts he dropped. Then he dropped more receipts showing that not only did they want Blueface to perform, but also there's another gentleman, um, Sax, Sav... I, 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 V, I don't know, X, I don't know. Anyway, so there's another guy that also is under uh, the management of WAC 100 that they would also like to sign. So he's just showing that this particular individual is, I'm not going to say trolling, but this particular individual is throwing shit out into the public that isn't accurate. And while they're trying to act like we're trying to run away with the bag that you just gave us, they're still trying to do business with us. Now, one of the things that WAC 100 said in the, uh, on IG was that homeboy that was doing all the talking isn't even the money guy. He's not even the guy behind the money. So I don't even know. I don't even need to talk to you. I guess he's trying to say you don't even know what's happening. You just you're just you're not even one of the money. You're not even a big dog. You're not even one of the big homies. You're not even one of the OGs in this conversation. Like what are you doing? Anyway, uh, another thing I want to point out real quick, and then I'm gonna let y'all go. And I want to know what y'all think about that. You understand what I'm saying? Because um, about the whole devaluing Blueface. Like, would you do the show? I personally would not do the show. I just want to let y'all know. I would personally not do the show. And it has little to do with whatever acclaim I think for the guy that I have for the guy that they're going to book over me. It has more to deal with the fact that I've worked hard to get to this spot. For you to now put me in a situation where if I do the show, I'm going to take value away from me. I'm going to take value away from the way that I feed my family. I'm going to take value away from the situation and the people that depend on me. Then I, what the hell? I'm not doing that. That don't even make sense. Why am I going to get your guy over? Get it? Because all the value that's going to, I, I don't want to, I don't want to call it uh, clout chasing, but all the value that's going to go away from blue face is probably going to be added to homeboy. And then on top of that, forget it. These guys ever get into a battle. Not that blue face has the skills to ever battle anybody, but not if these guys ever get into a battle, then he's going to talk about how you, he, he, he top build over him. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't know. This is just total effery. I think homeboy was trying to pull a shenanigan. They pulled out of it. So now he can't get his guy the clout he was trying to go get his guy. And I think that that's what this situation and this issue is about. I could be wrong. But that's what I think this is about. I think homeboy is just upset that Blueface and his team pulled out of that that deal, which was not a good deal in my in my opinion, and by them pulling out and not doing that show and sending the money back, which he didn't want to talk about how they sent the money back. You know, he just left that. We sent you the money. He know the money got sent back. So either he don't know the money got sent back because he ain't nobody to know. And that even means that he's less of whoever he thought he was or, or tried to come across in the first place. Or he knows that the money got sent back. And now he's just bitter. Anyway, leave it down in the comments. I want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, this is uh, this is why I try to tell people. A lot of people get mad at Whack 100, but I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Whack be on the right side of a lot of this shit. It's just that he'll be on the right side of it. And he's going to talk about, you know, curse out people, moms and dead grandparents and stuff like that. And immediately, <laughs> and immediately put himself on the wrong side of this type of stuff. But Whack 100 is on the right side of these issues quite a few times 
It's just he doesn't know how to win without, you know, shoving it in your face. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.